hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to do a battery upgrade on this battery pack right here so this originally came in 1997 and as you can see this is a lithium-ion battery pack 3.6 volts nominal with a capacity of 1350 milliamp hours so just looking at the shape of this battery pack I suspect that it uses either one of these this is an uh, 18650 lithium ion battery cell or one of these 16650 so the 16 is the diameter and the 650 is the length and uh, as you can see i think that the boat can fit in there but just judging by the dimensions i thought this one is uh, what's in it but also because after measuring these this one turned out to be 20, 21 22 milliamp hours and this one turned out to be 11 33. so both of these cells were actually i harvested them from uh, all laptop batteries which i had laying around for uh, so many years this one for example its original capacity was actually 2150 milliamp hours which is quite, you know, it's uh, quite a big difference from the capacity right now because of course these are uh, some 10 years old, something like that. And uh, these are actually even older, I'm not sure because this, uh, this was just a uh, laptop that was given to me by uh, a neighbor and uh, I took the batteries out, out of its, uh, I took the cells out of its batteries. And uh, I found out that these were actually quite still, uh, you know, the capacity is still very acceptable. I suspect they were 2700 or 23 or uh, 3200 milliamp hours when they started out. So, here I have a couple more. And uh, as you can see, they are all very similar in capacity. But after reviving them and uh, recharging them, testing them and uh, leaving them uh, sitting around for, uh, I think, more than three months now, uh, you can see that they are all still good. So that's 4.6 volts, 0 0.06 volts. That's 4.14 414 and 414 as you can see they are very similar in uh, in capacity and in voltage actually even though they were sitting for a long time they are very uh, they are still very usable so because i have two of these batteries i have already opened one of them and as you can see it was not a beautiful uh, <laughs> opening let us say but uh, I suspect because this one was the, of course, my first time opening one of these. And uh, there are no videos, sadly, on YouTube demonstrating how to easily open one of these. So I just had to brute force it. But now that I've opened this one, this one will be much easier. You can just, if you have an X-Acto knife, for example, you can just slice into this. And that's gonna be perfect for opening it of course going all the way around so after opening it I was actually very much surprised to find <laughs> that it was an, uh, an 18650 battery cell that was inside of here so as you can see this one is uh, very damaged it's very it has gone bad who knows when and as you can see this is manufactured by Sony this is model number US 18650S STG Energy Tech of course you need to keep this circuit board because uh, it, it's responsible for charging and uh, overcharge and over discharge protection So for now I will just make some of these tabs, that way they are ready. So I will use this one for example. 
So with the spot welder, of course you need a spot welder for this, but of course you can also get it done with the soldering iron. You just should make sure not to put too much heat into the battery. Alright everyone, so you do need to absolutely pay very much, very good attention to, uh, to the polarity, otherwise you can uh, either damage this, this little circuit board or you can damage the uh, main disc player itself. I've cut it a little bit too short. So I just added a little bit right here because I don't want to do the whole thing all over again. All right, so that's one. So now just one thing left. All right, so we just put it back together. So now, of course, the, because this one, I, I've done it in a horrible way. Some glue and the tape will absolutely be needed. But if you do it more cleanly than this, of course, you can put it back together with minimal effort. Alright, so this is just temporary to test it. So let's see. Let's actually test it with a multimeter first. 3.7 volts. Of course, if you noticed, there's a voltage drop of about 0.3 volts, which is due basically just to the uh, to the diodes that are in the circuit inside of here. So let's try it on this one. And there we have it. So there it is for the first time in upwards of 20 years, the MZR35 is running on lithium ion battery again. So, so to, to just show you a better way to do, uh, to open these batteries, which like I said, with an X-Acto knife, you just come to the seam right here. need to be kind of careful not to cut yourself, of course. Ah, he said cutting himself. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Man, I mean, this shit happens and uh, it shouldn't stop you. Of course, it will not stop me.
All right, so this one is still in perfect shape, as you can see. And I've managed to, uh, to open the case with minimal damage. Well, at least to the case. I've done some damage to myself. But nevertheless, so as you can see, there's the circuit board, that's the uh, battery cell. Let's check the voltage of this one. It's 0.2 volts. And I do suspect that because this one is still in perfect shape, I suspect that if I charge it, it will still do something. I mean, it will still hold some, some amount of charge, even after all these years, which is what I'll do, actually. I will, I will test it and uh, report to you later. So yeah, and uh, also, as you can see, this one, of course, it's still running. But for 3.6 volts, it's actually about half or 50% uh, full, something like that, between 40 and 50. I'm sure that the battery, which I've just put in, will last for a few hours, if not uh, a lot of hours, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I will test it and uh, report back to you, maybe in another, in a different video. So, if you wanted to upgrade the battery cell inside of these uh, battery packs, that's the way to do it. Of course, being careful not to cut yourself. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, you can leave a thumbs up. Hopefully not a bloody one like this. Other than that, you can subscribe. And until next time, this was the Electron Age. Bye.